You're free to speak your mind. I don't understand. Working with bandits? Keeping Ruby alive? What's the point? We're strong enough to take what we want by force. Never underestimate the usefulness of others. You will have the power I promised you when the time is right. But remember that it comes with a cost. There's only so much I can do to aid you. Yeah. <sighs> I know she's our teammate, but I'm not just going to change my mind. I'm sorry, I just, I don't think you know what it's like to be left. You have a giant family, recitals to perform at, dinners to attend. When I was 10, my dad finally admitted to my mom that the only reason he married her was for the family name. <sighs> it was actually on my birthday. He missed the big dinner. She got mad. He finally snapped. I think she already knew. Looking back, I think I knew too. But hearing him say it finally pushed her over the edge. First, it was separate lunches and dinners, opposite balconies at my recitals, a glass of wine here, a glass of wine there. Then it was no dinners, no recitals, a bottle of wine here, and well, you get the idea. I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have assumed. You're right, though. I don't know loneliness like you do. I have my own version. And I'll bet Blake has her own version, too. She doesn't have to be alone, though. I was here for her. We all were. She chose to leave us. Why do you think she did that? Hmm? The entire time Blake was at Beacon, she was afraid to open up to people. She tried to keep her past separated from us. She tried to protect us. Eventually, those walls she put up came down. And the moment they did, the one thing she was afraid of actually happened. The universe proved her right. No one blamed her for anything. If she had just talked to us, she would have known that. How could I be there for her if she doesn't let me? What if I needed her here for me? I know it's not easy. I wish she hadn't left too. The only thing we can do now is be there for her when she's ready. When she comes back. If she comes back. She will. 
Yang, you, Ruby, and even Blake are more like family to me than my brother or even my own father. I would do anything for you three, and I'm willing to bet Blake feels the same way. So, when she's ready, I'll be there for her. And I know we're not as close, but I'm here for you too. Is uh, everything okay? Yeah. <sighs> hey, ugly. Raven, we have a problem. What is it? Salem's found us. Four of her followers are waiting to speak with you. Right. Okay. Bring me my helmet. I don't recall inviting so many guests into our home. Don't be too upset with them, Raven. Your men simply recognize the power of a maiden when they see it. Which is why we'd like to have a word with you. I know all about your master, but I don't believe we've met. I'm Cinder Fall. This is my associate, Arthur Watts. And my disciples, Emerald and Mercury. Two children you've tricked into following you, a disgraced Atlesian scientist, and a fall maiden with a surname so appropriate she probably picked it herself. <clears throat> uh, technically, I was also a doctor, but I must say the rest was spot on. Aren't you perceptive? It's what's kept me alive. I'm afraid the only reason you're still alive is because you have something our master wants. Of course, if I'm wrong, Vernal! So, this is the long-lost Spring Maiden. Prove it. Bernal has done well under my guidance. I'd take that into consideration before you try anything. The Maidens are merely a means to an end. Salem's true desires are the relics locked within the Huntsman Academies. Come with us. Allow Vernal here to unlock the Relic of Knowledge, and all previous acts of defiance against Salem will be forgiven. It's the best deal either of you are going to get. You talk as if walking straight into Haven will be easy. That's because it will be. Headmaster Lionheart is loyal to Salem now. All we need is the key to the vault. I need time to think this over. You don't have time. In two days, Haven Academy will be destroyed by the White Fang. You're going to choose now. So, are you with us? Agreements like these are built on trust. And forgive me for saying, but I don't trust a single one of you. You're going to need to give me more. You are in a poor position to negotiate. I want my brother dead. Crow? That's right. He knows I have spring. And if I help you get your relic, he's going to become a problem. Crow doesn't trust me, but he does trust Ospin's other lieutenants. If Leo really is loyal to you, then you can order him to invite Crow right into an ambush. He arrives at Haven, we take him down, you get your relic, and we all leave happy. You have yourself a deal. Wait. Don't think I don't 
Let's see what you're after. Yes, for now. I followed them as you asked. Did they spot you? <laughs> of course not. They have a ship two clicks west of here. Looks like they're staying there for the night. Thank you, Vernal. Do you actually believe they'll let us go once they have the relic? Of course not. They'll never leave us alone. Once our purpose has come and gone, we'll be discarded. If we want to have any chance of defending ourselves against her, then we need this relic. Ilya? I'm here. Ilya. I know you're scared, but you don't have to be. My family and I, we can keep you safe. I'm sorry. doing i tried to warn you blake i'm sorry don't tell me you're sorry but i am i am sorry it has to be this way but you and your family are holding the faunus back because we're trying to protect people in what world do you live in where attacking the innocent is the right thing to do the same one as you there's no such thing as innocent there's no right thing to do only what's best for us I don't like hurting people, but I'll tell you this, it's gotten us results. Yeah, look where it's gotten you. We all have to make sacrifices for the greater good, no matter how much it hurts. And you think killing me is really for the greater good? No, but getting rid of your family is. You wouldn't. You can't. I won't let you. I know. That's why you're being sent to Mistral. To Adam. Ilya, please. You don't have to do this. This isn't you. Yes, it is. But I guess back then you were just too busy falling for Adam to notice. I wanted you to look at me that way. But we can't always get what we want. Yuma, with me. You two, get her to the docks. Let's go, traitor. What? Thanks for the backup. Thanks for the invitation. You okay? No. You heard, Ilya. My family's in danger. Call the police and let's go. Right. Come on, Mom, pick up. I believe it's time our dear chieftain stepped down, brother. <laughs> 